Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we'll be talking about how a child grieves over a passing parent. So I have my son Josiah with me today. Hi. I'm just going to ask him um, a variety of questions on how he felt when his father passed away and things like that. So we're going to get into it. So would you like to say anything to anyone? Um, Tell them your age, what's your name? I'm eight. Wait, very two, my name. Okay, so my first question for you, Josiah, first of all, thank you for being uh, a guest on my channel. Um, my first question is, the day that I told you that your dad passed away, do you remember how you felt that day? Yes. How did you feel that day? I felt sad and angry. Mm, and what made you feel sad and angry? Because he died. Yeah, because I remember when I told you, um, you didn't cry or anything at the moment. I don't even know if you cried that I day. Did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, not at the moment when I was telling you. So it took some time for you to, like... No, I cried at that moment. Mommy, remember when I went to rock, when I hugged Rotten? When I, and I started crying? Oh, it took you a couple of, couple like of moments one, after. One, two, three, four, five. It took you a couple of moments after. Okay. So you felt, fat, you, you felt sad and angry? Yes. And why angry? I don't really know. I just feel angry. Okay. Um, my second question is, what made you sad the most about um, his passing? Uh, that he died in jail. That made you sad the most? Yes. Why did that make you sad the most? Well, because I kind of think someone poisoned So why do you think your dad was poisoned? Because he died of cardiac arrest. Yeah. Um, well, that really I'm not too sure how someone gets to the stage of cardiac arrest, but he did die of cardiac arrest. I'm doing this because I don't really know. But um, I think what you're trying to say is because you know how they treat black people, so you're not sure how he was treated? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to do I'm gonna do what I can on my end to figure out what really happened and things like that. But um, mm -hmm. right now, I don't know if he was poisoned. I don't know what led him to lead up to cardiac arrest or anything, but that's, that's the only thing that I know, okay? Mm -hmm. When you miss your dad, what do you do when you miss him? Are you feeling sad? I usually draw. Well, I don't know what because you keep on throwing him away. <laughs> yeah, he be drawing. There'll be like 50 drawings all over the place and then they be everywhere. And then when I start cleaning, I'm just, you know, I get in my cleaning mode. But so you, you like to draw to him? Yes. And how does drawing help you calm down and not be so sad? Uh, how does it help me? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. I just like to draw. Okay. You know, I always tell you all the time that I'm not going to be here. Everyone's going to die every day. So do you do you think when I die that you you're gonna be better prepared since you already experienced losing a, a parent? Uh, yes and no. So why yes and no? And look in the camera. Okay. Because um oh, because I'm losing two parents mm -hmm. for the sad part. I'm losing two parents. And it just put more on my mind, and I'm, I'm going to handle it good, just so it's going to be a lot. So how are you going to handle it good? Same thing I'm doing right now. Okay, which is? Drawing. I might draw you like that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Or you know how, but I will try. I'll try. Mm -hmm. um, I'll try to order me some Legos, if I have enough money. Mm -hmm. To take it off my mind, and that's what I'll do. Okay. Well, just for the record, I'm telling you, you know, I am going to die one day. I can go before you, or you can go before me. But you always got to just remember when I die, then I'm what? what in my heart? Uh, and in my blood? blood? Yes, and I am your, now I, I became your ancestor, and my spirit is always with you. Look at me. So when I die, you can cry, have your moment, but you what? Keep on going. Okay, and you handle it in a positive way. Okay? There's okay. nothing you can do about it. No one else can do about it. It's something that's going to happen. So when I die, just okay. Just remember the times that we had and, you know, things like that. And it's just life. Just be prepare yourself. 
just remember what I'm telling you or just remember the good times and even some bad times or listen to music, whatever it is you have to do, but I want you to handle it in a positive way. You hear me? Yes. There's no need to go acting crazy and losing your mind and getting hooked on addictions or anything like that. No, don't do it. Because I'm literally always there with you, just in spirit now. Kind of like Casper, okay? Mm -hmm. Which means you can always talk to me. I'm going to see if I don't know. Hopefully I can come to you in some dreams and, you know, just like you said, draw, go exercise, just whatever you want to do, but keep your mind focused and positive. And it's okay to cry. Get it out, cry it out, whatever you need to do. But always handle it in a good way, okay? Okay. All right. So if you could see her that one more time, what would you say to him? That I love him and I miss him. That's it? Mm, yes, and then I will go spend time with him for mm -hmm. most of the day. And I would leave him. That's what I would do. So if you... um. If you were, what would you guys do on your last day? If you well, know that, you know, he's I'll ask him to go to movies and like, well, not really go to the movies, like watch the on computer or something. Mm -hmm. And we'll, and I'll, and then we'll draw together. Okay. Because you say he can draw, supposedly. Mm -hmm. And then we'll just then talk, watch a couple movies, I don't really know. So you would just like to spend quality time with him? Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the fact that you, your dad passed away when you were six or seven. Um, remember I told you you're not the only child that experienced this. Some people don't know their parents or their parents died when they were little yes. or they died at the same time. So if there's a kid watching this, what would you tell that person? To look in the camera, what would you tell that kid? Uh, I only know to do what they like to do the most, something that's fun. I, I usually draw, so I don't know if they like to draw. So Some what would you tell them, though? What would you tell that child that's, that experience what you're doing, that, that's in the crying stage, you just don't know, you know, there's just too much for them right now. What would you tell them? I'll tell them to meditate and draw, or not draw, but do what they want to do. Like, not in a negative way, but in a positive way. Okay. Like, do something fun, play with your toys. To keep that's what I told Yes, that's what I told that person. From this time that you're, you know, your father, when I, from the time I told you you passed away and then has been dealing with it, do you think I've been supportive? As in, like, do you think I've been comforting you more? Or, like, when you tell me, do I handle it in a good way? Like, yes, you handle it in a good way. It just sometimes I ask, do you know what else, anything else I can do? But sometimes, well, you always see, you know, I don't know. So. Mm -hmm. I'll just try to do things. It's, it's, it's mostly draw all the time. So. Okay. So, but overall, you think I've been supportive? Or, or is there anything that I can do to better help you when you're, you know, because I, you can be honest, I know sometimes I don't handle it the way I should. And sometimes, sometimes it, you know, it's too much for me because I don't know how to handle it and things like that. So is there anything that you would like to tell me that you want me to try to better help you when you have in your moments and things like that? No, not really. Yet. No. Okay. When you're grieving, besides drawing, um, besides playing with Legos, what do you like to do? Because we have did a few of the meditations and the sound bowls. Have yes. that been helping you? Yes, that's been helping me too. How, how does it help you? How do you feel when you're doing the sound bowls and you're um, meditating? Um, we don't do it much, but we do it every now and then. Um, I don't really know how to describe it, but it feels good. I'm um, waiting. You know, just a feeling. Like relax, relaxing? Yes. Okay. Um, I had mentioned something yesterday on my video, but I had stopped myself because I didn't have your permission to, you know, discuss it. Remember, is it okay for us to discuss it? Yes, yes. I'm okay. Okay, do you remember when, when your dad passed away and I said, well, you know, you can ask him to come to you in a dream? Yes. And remember what happened? Tell the people what happened. I started crying when I woke up. Mm -hmm, but why did you cry? Look in the camera. Well, uh... It's really because he, he was just walking in the king and I was like staring right there and he just like 
went through the door, didn't say nothing. Mm -hmm. That's all I saw, and I just woke up out of nowhere and started crying. Why did you wake up crying? Oh, no, it was because I saw him and it was too much for me, and he didn't speak. That's all. It, it what? And he, I saw him, and he didn't speak. Oh, okay. Sometimes, I don't remember what I told you at the moment, but I do remember telling you that, um, you know, he probably, that was just probably a test to see how you react. And I think when, did it scare you when you seen him in the dream or? No. Okay, because maybe that was just a test for him to just say, you know, he wanna scare you too much and come in a dream and you know, he's no longer here physically. But maybe he was just testing it just to let you know he's thinking of you, okay? Okay. Sometimes, you know, people are with you, even if they're still living, they're still thinking of you and they're there. So maybe that's what it was. He just let you know and walk on by, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, what else would you like to say to anyone, to any kid, to any parent, to, to the world? What would you like to say about this process? Uh, I would just like to tell them to stay strong. You would like to tell who to stay strong? Uh, well, whoever went to do this, stay strong. How can they stay strong? Besides drawing and things like that. Uh, you don't know? If you, if besides you don't know, anything? If you don't know, just say you don't know. It's fine. I don't really know, but do what they like to do. Okay. I don't know. And now, since we hopefully she watches this, uh, remember someone sent you a video? What would you like to say to her? Thank you, Miss Brittany, for, for sending me the video about my dad. Yeah, that's my um, friend, um, Breezy's World. Um, I I was just letting her know, like, you know, dang, I don't know what to say. Can you send me a video to help him, you know, sh share with some methods how you help, you know, when you're dealing with the loss of a family. And so she sent them a video, and I just wanted him to let her know that she, uh, you know, appreciates him and things like that. But overall, um, this may be a little short, but I just want you guys to know, like, you know. You can make it a little bit longer. Oh, yeah? How can I make it a little longer? Uh, uh talk about. Do you ever wonder, what do you wonder? Like, what do you, what be going through your head now that you know he's not here? And, like, what goes through your head? Do you, like, do you feel that. It is going to make you... Do you feel this process has made you stronger? Yes. Why do you think it made you stronger? Mm, because... Um, like, what are you talking about? Like, like, you know? like, in general, like, do you think that it made you stronger mentally? Or now that you feel like if anything bad can happen, you can handle it because you have to handle... Yes. Yes. That, that's not yes, that's not tough. So why do you think that? Hmm... Because it just help, it helps me. That's it. So now you feel that you can probably handle something else. In a good way. Something else. Yeah. Yes. I think it's important to handle the loss of a parent in a good way, and not a negative way. Because you can handle stuff in a negative way and start acting out. Well, you have been acting out lately, and I don't know. Maybe we could talk about that after you answer this. You know what's going on with you and that. But why do you think it's good to handle it in a good way and not a negative way? A positive way and not a negative way? Uh, because I can wind up on drugs and stuff mm -hmm. and die. And How can you wind up on drugs? Uh, hanging, um, like, you know, bad influences and you're, you're just thinking about it and have it in a negative way. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. And so lately, you have been acting mischievous the last six months to a year. And is there a reason behind that, or are you just being mischievous? There is a reason, cause my dad died. Well, not all. Well, it's actually mostly. Uh, yeah, it's mostly because of that. It's mostly because of what? My dad died. So do you think that you're handling it in a positive way when you be mischievous and you're not listening and different things? That's not, he wouldn't want you to do that. Do you ever wonder what it would be like if he was still here? 
Like meaning like do you do you think about how your life would be right now if he is here or what he was like or how he would treat you, things like that? Yes. So what do you be thinking about? I think about like will we have fun? I listen, I do my homework. homework, excuse me. I do my homework and stuff. And that's what I want to think about. You mentioned something to me before. You said I wish my dad didn't die. I wish I would have died instead so he could. Yes, I said that. Yeah, why did you say that? Well, I don't really know, just I didn't want to die, so I would me dying and him. Dying. You really dad dying in you? Yes. Do you feel like you want to die? No, not like now, but if I had to for my dad, yes, I would do that. So, I'm done asking Josiah his questions. Um, so, we're going to what? Do the song of the day. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Josie, for being on the channel. You're welcome. And hopefully you gave good advice to the people, even the kids or the adults. And continue to remain strong because your mommy's strong, baby. Okay. And you got to know, doesn't matter how old you are, that people die every day, okay? Okay. All right. All right. Bye, everyone.